Evaluating a function means replacing the variable in the function. When we evaluate a function, we are finding the value of f of x that corresponds to a given value of x. Here's an example of a function machine that shows the relationship between the input and the output. So technically speaking, no, when we talk about input, ito yung papasok doon sa ating function. And when we talk about the output, it is the result. So for every input, pumasok sa ating function machine, may lalabas na output. And when we evaluate the function, for example, in this case, f of x is equal to 2x plus 5, for some value of x in the domain of f, say x is equal to 2, then we can find a value for f of x that corresponds to x is equal to 2. So, if f of x is equal to 2x plus 5, find f of 2. So, ang tinatanong lang dito, no, ano daw yung value ng ating function kapag si x ay 2? Alright? So, in this case, Papalitan lang natin yung mga variable natin na x dito sa ating given. So, f of x is equal to 2x plus 5. So, makikita mo yung x here sa f of x. Pinilitan ko ng 2 kasi ito yung gusto natin makita at makuha. What is the value of f of 2? Equals 2x plus 5. So, yung x here, pinalitan natin ng 2. And then, 2 times 2 plus 5 na yung ating uh, given here. So, f of 2 is equal to? 2 times 2 is 4, and then plus 5, and therefore, 4 plus 5 is 9. So, it means that the value of f of x is equal to 2x plus 5 when x is equal to 2 is 9. So, in other words, kapag ang ating function ay f of x is equal to 2x plus 5, at meron tayong input na x is equal to 2, kapag pumasok yun sa ating function, na process ng ating function, ang magiging output nun is 9. And this is how we evaluate a particular function. Let's take a look at the next slide. Take a look at the next example. Let's evaluate g of x equals x squared minus 2x plus 2 at x equals 1.5. So technically, in order to find the value of the function g of x, when x is equal to 1.5, is a substitute lang natin yung 1.5 sa lahat ng x na meron tayo sa function. So it becomes g of 1.5 is equal to 1.5 square minus 2 times 1.5 plus 2. Now, it is important that you know how to perform these operations, no? Dapat familiar ka sa order of operation. So in this case, unahin natin of course si 1.5 square. So, 1.5 square means 1.5 times 1.5, and that gives us 2.25. Negative 2 times 1.5 is negative 3, and then we still have plus 2. By simplifying, 2.25 minus 3 plus 2, we get g of 1.5 is equal to 1.25. So, it means that the value of the function g of x equals x squared minus 2x plus 2 when x is equal to 1.5 is 1.25. Take a look at the next example to see a more complex no, or complicated example. Let's say given the function f of x is equal to 2x plus 1, let's find f of 3x minus 1. So to find f of 3x minus 1, we just need to substitute 3x minus 1 to every x na nandoon sa ating function. So, f of 3x minus 1 is equal to 2 times 3x minus 1 plus 1. So, take note here, ito yung x natin, pinalitan natin ng 3x minus 1. By simplifying, no, applying distributive property in this case, so 2 times 3x, that is 6x, 2 times negative 1, that is negative 2, and then we still have plus 1. Simplify natin further, combining similar terms. And therefore, we have f of 3x minus 1 is equal to 6x. Negative 2 plus 1 is negative 1. That is why we have 6x minus 1. And let's say we are given g of x is equal to x squared minus 2x plus 2 
and let's find f of 2x plus 3. Same process, let's replace x by 2x plus 3. So g of x is equal to x squared minus 2x plus 2 becomes g of 2x plus 3 equals 2x plus 3 squared minus 2 times 2x plus 3 plus 2. By simplifying this, oh, in this case, we expand natin si 2x plus 3 because as you can see, this is a square of binomial. So in squaring a binomial, let's recall the basic idea behind it. So in squaring a binomial, ang ginagamit natin identity is that we need to, to get the square of the first term and then twice the product of the first and the second term and then the square of the last term. So it goes like this. So we have 2x squared, square of the first term, and then twice, kaya may 2, the product of the first and the second term, kaya meron tayong 2 times 2x times 3, and then the square of the last term, which is 3 squared. Simplify, 2x squared means 4x squared. 2 times 2x times 3 is 12x, and then 3 squared is 9. So technically, si 2x plus 3 squared, ito lang yon. 4x squared plus 12x plus 9. And then we still have to simplify this. Negative 2 times 2x, expand natin, negative 4x, negative 2 times positive 3 is negative 6, and then we still have plus 2. So, by combining similar terms, you can see na si 4x squared ay ibababa lang natin dito kasi wala na ibang x squared term dito sa ating uh, expression sa taas. And then here we have 12x and then negative 4x, pwede natin i-combine and that gives us positive 8x since 12 minus 4 is 8. 9 minus 6 is 3 and then plus 2 is 5. Therefore, g of 2x plus 3 is equal to 4x squared plus 8x plus 5. Now let us apply your understanding at yung natutunan mo when it comes to evaluating functions to solve this problem. Mark started selling snacks in the nearby school. In one day, he spends 200 pesos for rent and 25 pesos for each snack item he prepares. His expenses in a single day can be expressed as the function c of x equals 25x plus 200 where x is the number of items and c of x is his daily expenses in pesos. How much are his expenses if he prepares 100 snacks? How about for 150 snacks? So to solve the problem, of course we just need to use this function. c of x is equal to 25x plus 200. And knowing the idea and the fact that x is the number of items, so it means it yung 100 snacks na tinutukoy natin dito. So, for 100 snacks, palit lang natin si 100 dun sa ating function, sa mga x doon sa ating function. And so, we have c of 100 is equal to 25 times 100 plus 200. And we know that 25 times 100 is 2,500. So, we still have plus 200 here. And 2,500 plus 200 is 2,700 means that for 100 snacks, ang expenses na kailangan niya ihanda ay 2,700 pesos. For 150 snacks, following the same procedure, substitute natin si 150 sa ating function, sa ating mga variable na x, kung ilan man yan. So, c of 150 is equal to 25 times 150 plus 200. 25 times 150 is 3,750 plus 200 and that gives us 3,950. Therefore, for 150 snacks, he has to prepare 3,950 as his daily expenses in pesos. And that is how we use the process in our understanding in evaluating functions to solve real-life problems. And that's it. I hope you learned something today. Thank you for watching.